Krakow, Poland's crown jewel, is a living museum with its medieval heart intact. This city of spires and cobblestones is renowned for its rich history, world-class art scene, and the majestic Warrell Castle. It's a place where time seems to move slower, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in Poland's storied past. In stark contrast, Warsaw is a phoenix risen from the ashes. Completely destroyed during World War II, the city was meticulously rebuilt, symbolizing Poland's indomitable spirit. Today, it's a dynamic metropolis, Poland's economic and political powerhouse. Skyscrapers pierce the skyline, and a youthful energy pulses through its streets. The rivalry between Krakow and Warsaw is a playful battle for hearts and minds. Krakow champions its ancient charm and artistic flair, while Warsaw boasts its modern spirit and forward-thinking attitude. Friendly jibes are exchanged, each city convinced of its superiority. Yet, this competition is a testament to Poland's multifaceted identity. Krakow preserves the nation's heritage, while Warsaw propels it into the future. Together, they form a captivating portrait of Poland's past, present, and future. The Wielicka salt mine is a mind-blowing place. It's like stepping back in time into a magical underground world. This super-old salt mine near Krakow has been churning out salt for over 700 years. It's crazy to think how important it was back in the day when salt was super valuable. Nowadays, it's all about tourism and being amazed. You can wander through miles of tunnels, see chapels carved entirely from salt, and even find underground lakes. The main attraction is probably the Chapel of St. Kinga. It's like a church made of glitter, but it's not just about the pretty stuff. The mine tells a story about hard-working miners, Polish history, and how important salt was to the country. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so you know it's special. If you're in Krakow, this place is a must-see. The Wielicka salt mine has a constant temperature of around 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, 59 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, a year-round. This means it's much cooler than the outside temperature, especially during hot summer months, tourists are the primary visitors to the Wielicka salt mine today. They come from all over the world to experience this underground wonder. However, it's important to remember that the mine was originally explored and worked by miners. These brave individuals spent their lives extracting salt from the depths of the earth, creating the intricate network of tunnels and chambers that we admire today. One of the most captivating features of the Wielicka salt mine is its underground lake. This serene body of water, nestled deep within the earth, adds an ethereal touch to the already magical environment. The lake is a result of centuries of water seepage into the mine. Over time, it accumulated in a natural depression, creating a tranquil oasis amidst the salt formations. Its still waters reflect the intricate carvings and the soft glow of the underground lights, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. While it's possible to glimpse the lake during some tours, it's important to note that swimming or direct contact with the water is generally prohibited to preserve the delicate ecosystem and the mine's structural integrity. However, simply observing this hidden gem is an experience that leaves a lasting impression. Krakow's charm is undeniably linked to the Vistula. Its banks provide a serene escape from the bustling city center. You can enjoy leisurely walks or bike rides along the river, taking in the picturesque views of the city skyline, more than just a pretty face, beyond its aesthetic appeal. The Vistula has played a crucial role in Krakow's development. It has served as a transportation route, a source of sustenance, and a defense barrier over the centuries. Today, it's a popular spot for recreation, 
with opportunities for boating, fishing, and simply relaxing by the water. The main market square, or Rynek Glauny in Polish, is the beating heart of Krakow's old town. It's one of Europe's largest medieval squares. And it's absolutely stunning, imagine a vast, open space surrounded by colorful, historic buildings, bustling with life. That's Rynek Glauny. It's a place where you can spend hours simply wandering, soaking up the atmosphere, and people watching. Key attractions in the square include the Cloth Hall. This iconic building now houses shops and galleries. St. Mary's Basilica, with its twin spires. This Gothic church is a must-see. Town Hall Tower, the only remaining part of the old town hall offers panoramic views. Adam Mickiewicz Monument, a tribute to the famous Polish poet. Whether you're enjoying a coffee at one of the many outdoor cafes, exploring the underground Sukienis, or simply taking in the stunning architecture, Reinick Glauny is a place you won't forget. Krakow's Old Town, a living relic of the past, Krakow's Old Town, or Stair Miasto, is a captivating tapestry of history, architecture, and culture. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a living testament to Poland's rich past, drawing visitors from around the globe to its enchanting streets, a medieval masterpiece, founded in the 13th century, the old town served as Poland's capital for centuries, witnessing pivotal moments in the nation's history. Its grid-like layout, a remarkable feat for its time, is centered on the iconic Main Market Square, the heart of the city, Main Market Square. At the heart of the old town lies the sprawling Main Market Square, one of Europe's largest medieval squares. This vibrant hub is surrounded by historic buildings, including the Cloth Hall, a Renaissance gem now housing shops and art galleries. St. Mary's Basilica, with its asymmetrical towers and haunting bugle call, dominates the skyline. Architectural splendor, the old town is a treasure trove of architectural styles, from the Gothic grandeur of St. Mary's Basilica to the Renaissance elegance of the Cloth Hall. Narrow, cobbled streets wind through the district, leading to hidden courtyards and charming cafes. The Royal Route, a historic pathway connecting the old town to Warrell Castle, is lined with impressive buildings, offering a glimpse into the city's royal past, a modern renaissance. While steeped in history, Krakow's old town is far from a museum piece. Today, it's a dynamic district brimming with life. Cafes, restaurants, and boutiques coexist harmoniously with historic landmarks. The area also hosts a vibrant cultural scene, with festivals, concerts, and events taking place throughout the year. Krakow's old town is more than just a place, it's an experience. It invites visitors to step back in time while embracing the present, making it an unforgettable destination. Poland's complex history, particularly during World War II, remains a sensitive topic. While Krakow played a significant role in the resistance movement, there have been debates and controversies over the interpretation of historical events. The increasing popularity of Krakow as a tourist destination has led to concerns about overcrowding, preservation of historical sites, and the impact on local residents' quality of life. As with many cities, Krakow faces challenges related to economic inequality. While the city center is thriving, there are areas with significant social and economic disparities. It's important to note that these are complex issues with diverse perspectives. Krakow, like any city, is a dynamic place where different viewpoints and challenges coexist. Krakow's old town is more than just a historical district, it is the living heart of the city, where past and present meet in a dynamic blend of tradition and modernity. Whether exploring its architectural wonders, enjoying the vibrant street life, or delving into its rich cultural offerings, 
visitors to the old town can experience the essence of Krakow in all its glory.